Um, for E, we've got 6x plus 6. I mean, you know it factorizes, but you don't worry about that. It's the bottom we do need to factorize, though. x squared minus 9, we have to know that's the same as x plus 3 and x minus 3. And so we're going to split this into A over x plus 3 plus B over x minus 3. Now, if someone factorized that round the other way, they might have their A and B round the other way. The answers would end up being the same. So 6x plus 6 is equal to a lots of x minus 3 plus b lots of x plus 3. Putting in x equals 3 gives us 24 over here, and it gives us 6b's, and so b is equal to 4. Putting in a minus 3 makes uh, minus 12 there, then, doesn't it? Minus 6a is there, and so a is equal to 2. So the answer to this one, 2 over x plus 3 plus 4 over x minus 3. And for f, so I've got 7 minus 3x. And again, I'm going to factorize straight away here. So I've got an x minus 4 and an x plus 1. So we've got a over x minus 4 plus b over x plus 1. See, even doing every single question, I'm not taking any shortcuts on this line here. This line's important. And don't try and skip anything out here, because I see too many people make slips and silly errors. Uh, the values here I'm going to use then, if x is equal to minus 1, uh, then I'm going to get 10 here. That makes that one 0. That makes minus 5 b's. So b is minus 2. And... Uh, putting in a value then of 4, sticking in a 4 in there, that's making minus 5, isn't it? The 4 add 1 makes 5, and so a is equal to minus 1, both negative this time. So I've got minus 1 over x minus 1, minus 2 over x plus 1. There's e and f.